the secrets of mathematics, the harmony of the cosmos, and a mysterious brotherhood. Today's topic, Pythagoras and his school. Founded by one of antiquity's most intriguing thinkers, this school was not just about math, it was a philosophy of life. What happened within its walls? What were its hidden teachings? Let's travel back 2,500 years to uncover the story. Born in 570 BCE on the island of Samos, Pythagoras traveled to Egypt and Babylon in his youth, immersing himself in mathematics, astronomy, and mysticism. But what made him legendary was the Pythagorean school he founded in Croton, Italy. This was no ordinary academy. It was a religious sect, a philosophical community, and a scientific hub rolled into one. Gaining entry to Pythagoras's school wasn't easy. Initiates faced years of trials, swore vows of silence, and followed vegetarian lifestyles. The school had two tiers, acousmaticoi, listeners. They learned only basic doctrines, mathematicoi, mathematicians, the elite who accessed secret knowledge, the golden rule, never attribute anything to Pythagoras. All discoveries were credited to the master's word to the Pythagoreans. Numbers were divine. All is number, they declared. The famous Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, was born here, but for them, math held mystical meanings. One, unity and the divine. Two, femininity and chaos. Ten, the perfect number. One plus two plus three plus four equals ten. They even discovered musical note ratios, believing in the harmony of the spheres, but this enigmatic school met a dark fate. Pythagoras's political influence threatened rivals. In the 5th century BCE, the school was attacked and burned. Pythagoras fled, and legends still debate his death. What did he leave behind? Without the Pythagoreans, math and philosophy would look very different. Their fingerprints are everywhere, from the golden ratio to quantum physics. They even popularized vegetarianism. So, what do you think? Can science and mysticism coexist? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe for more deep dives into history. Next time, we'll explore the trial of Socrates. Until then, stay curious and